This is a retro, uh, retro challenge project, uh, the FPGA ELF. As you can see, it looks uh, sort of like a Cosmic ELF, only without most of the electronics. You can see here toggle switches, a push button, some Avago hexadecimal displays, which are essentially the same as the HP hexadecimal displays that were used in the original ELF. But where the rest of the electronics would be, you see there's connectors. And these connectors are connected to this FPGA evaluation board, which has an FPGA here in the middle and an oscillator and some flash memory uh, over here somewhere. And that's all we're really using for this project. So since there's no 1802 microprocessor, the 1802 is implemented as a soft core in this FPGA. So I'll turn it on here and it is loading the configuration into the FPGA and the display went to zero indicating that it's ready to go. So we're going to load a program. We flip the load switch to on and start entering hexadecimal code. So first word is F8. So there's F8. You see the display changed to F8. 00, B1, B2, B3, F8, 80, A1, F8, 81, A2, F8, 82, a3, F8, 60, 52, F8, a lot of F8, 06, 53, 3F, One four. In case you're wondering, we're loading a total of 49 bytes into this. Zero two. F C. F zero. Five two. Three A. Two eight. F. And it's annoying if you enter a byte wrong because you just have to start over. Six zero. That's the way the original elf works, so that's the way the FPGA elf works. Five two zero three F C F F five three three A Eight F eight zero six five three zero two E three F one music yes, like my battleship E one Five one six four two one three zero one four. Now we're done loading, and so I turn load mode off. That causes the processor to go into reset and sets its program counter to zero. So now when I flip the run switch, it's running. Of course, we don't see anything happening yet because it, the program I entered is waiting for me to press this button. So I may as well press it. While I hold the button, it is counting really fast. So all you see on the display is a blur that looks sort of like an 8, only with the corners uh, illuminated. But when I release it, you'll see another number, in this case 5-2. What this program is doing is rolling dice, two uh, six-sided dice to be specific. So every time I push the button, we will get a different uh, pair of digits between 1 and 6. So perfect for playing a game of Monopoly or what have you. Uh, so the whole purpose of this was just to demonstrate that this is behaving as an elf, despite the fact that there is no physical 1802 present.